G'day everyone. And here we are in my workshop. We're going to uh, have a bit of a tinker with the uh, VF750 Magna. And, uh, well, hang on, fingers in the way. What we got is a set of uh, forward controls. Some of China's best. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, lift it up, get some tools, and you can follow me along. All right. <sighs> well, I guess I've got to start by taking my side cover off. Okay. Be like that. It's a bit noisy because I've got the fan because it's a hot, humid day here. And I kind of get that um, not everyone will be interested in this video considering it's not exactly a very common bike in Australia. I mean, in the last 10 years I've seen two of them and I've owned both of them. I mean, I'm sure there's others around, just I don't see them on the road. So. Gonna have to randomly put you down. as I'm uh, running the one hand bandit. All right, bear with me for a sec. All right, we got that off. We can push right in. And make sure the push rod cup stays in there. And it comes with uh, yeah, a diagram, no real instructions. That's all good. I'm a guy. Don't need instructions, right? Okay. So first off, take the rod off. Undo the two look like M12 bolts. And we'll move the uh, gear lever. Alright. Got the 12 mils out. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Might have to pull the engine pipe off. Mm -hmm. That's a bad one. Might be able to persuade it. Okay. Run screw this bad boy. Alright. Give me a minute, I might just uh, fry the hose up and see how we go. Alright, we've got it off. Don't have to drop the engine pipe, just have to lift the uh, radiator hose up. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trial fit it. And then when I know it all fits, start pulling it apart, use some Loctite, and put it back on. Alright. See if the little Milwaukee's up to the task. First problem is, I don't think that's the same thread. 
think we're doomed before we start. Nope, it's not the right thread. Fucking bunions. Okay. Yes. So I'll have to find a long bolt or we'll retap some thread. Hmm. Alright, I'll be so, back. Here we are. Mounting bolts are all too short. I did find something that's, you know, it goes in a little. It's not quite, um, it's not quite what I'm happy with. I do have some more. I'll just, um, Yeah, this one's a through bolt. This goes through the other side and gets a nut. So I could, you know, these are all too short. Um, I have a couple of these crispy critters, which are pretty shit, let's be honest. But, um,. I'm sure I can contact the seller and say, hey, the bolts don't fit. But they're in China, so they probably don't give a shit. It's, um, I think it's, I'm trying to think of the brand. I'll post it uh, on the screen. And some of the feedback that I have found while searching has pointed that, you know, some of the bolts are the wrong length and the threads are wrong. So I was kind of expecting it. Keep dropping my fucking melon key. Anyway. So I'll keep plodding along until I find something that's suitable. And then I'll come back. So here we are. Um, still really haven't found the right bolts, but... I've tried, i fitted it, and... Gee, they stick out a bit. I am considering uh, removing the spacer, chop this spacer down. That way it will kind of fix the bolt problem. And then there's enough thread in here, I could cut this off and bring it in. I mean, right, yeah. So, before we go modifying the other side, we'll get onto this side. Which is much the same as the other side. Got to remove this bad boy, the brake rod, and uh, see what happens. Yeah, what do we got? Once again, I need my hands. We've downgraded to a small fan, so it's not so noisy. I'll be, uh, so I'll be back. back. And for the most part, the design will fit and work. But uh, kind of don't like how wide they are. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of goofy. So. I think I might go on my plan and get rid of that. Take that much off that one. It'll move it in. It's enough where I can use this top original bolt. And uh, I have to put up with some pretty cheesy used rusty headed bolts. I could wire wheel them, paint them. I don't know. Go to the hardware, find something. But. Um, Considering they're in metric fine thread, that's something more of a bolt fastening shop, not a hardware, but 
Yeah. I mean, not really what I call enough bite. I mean, these ones are longer. These are engine mount bolts from a CB125 Honda, funny enough. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll come back when I've butchered the design. So here we are back at the bench. And what I've done is I've, um, you'll probably see it, this is the scratch. Line the spacer up and use the knife. And that way I can cut this spacer down, get rid of that spacer. And we end up with that. So this will bolt straight to the frame. The original bottom bolt, which is the wrong thread for there. There's enough thread out the back to bolt up there. So whilst I'm stuck with these, I've got a short net long spacer. Bolt that up there. And see if I can find a fine thread bolt that's better than that. Um, yeah, I mean, the shift arm is close to the frame, but I think it'll be okay once it's all tight, because it's not tightened up. So, we'll just leave it at that, and I'll be back when I've cut the spaces down, and we'll give it another try. Alright, here we are in the tin shed. going to use a drop saw. So I have a, give it a little, give it a little chop down. I'll either make it right or I'll fuck it up. All right, it's good. messy but does the job all right we're back cut them both down uh, already put this side on no spacer there short net spacer it just looks right like everything's better in line uh, I still got to sort out that which should tighten up okay um, we'll man up the other side. And for the moment, it turns out the original um, top bolt is the right length now. Still not great, but a um, bleh. A black plated bolt's better than a corroded silver bolt, so so that'll go in there nicely. And uh, yeah, I'll put this together and test everything out, make some adjustments, pull it off, put some Loctite, and you should be good to go. So there we go. They're in the uh, nipped up. They're not uh, talk, talked up or Loctite jet. Put this neutral. Okay, um, I'll drop it down and sit on it and see how it feels. So we're back. This side's all adjusted up. Feels pretty good for my seating position. Um, brake side, well, that's a bit of a tricky one. 
Hang on, I'll get rid of this fan. So, unless you've got uh, a big deep for it. So, I've got no adjustment left here. So my options are, are to cut this shorter, which will bring the pedal up higher. There's also no stop. So it's something um, I might have to put something there. Maybe a bracket. Otherwise, I'll have to Mm. Pop off the spline, rotate it one tooth, and that should give me the travel I need. I mean, I can adjust this in more, but it's already pretty far in, so don't know how much brake I have. So that's the next step. <laughs> Unless I brake with my heel. So it should be let's say let me look at the other side so it should be about here and break to about there not anyway I'll do some I mean I've taken this look out of this might fix it and we'll fix it up all right so what we ended up doing as I mentioned, I cut, remove this spacer from the top, I cut that much off that spacer, everything seems to line up and work, wasn't happy with how much this stuck out, so I cut again, I don't know, I think that's about 20 mil off the end of that, yeah, maybe I could cut more, but for now I'll leave it, now I've just got to, uh, put this side case back on and then we'll start on the other side all right side covers back on clutch is working all seems good okay so the does stick out a bit, but hey, hmm, let's compare it to the original, well, it's not too bad, yep, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and now I'll push the hose back and get that out. Alright, we'll go do the other side. And here we are. Cut down that one. Um, I do have the pieces somewhere, but pretty much took that much out of it. Um, using the original bolt, which that's a fair amount of engagement, so I'm happy with that. So I've got to hook all this up. And then work out the uh, linkage part, which I don't know. I'll come back when I work that out. So, to make up for the lack of adjustment up here, is really this should be up here. Um, this is as short as this can go. So this is as short as this can go, so, so my option is cut this, drill a hole, or uh, I'm going to take, take this off and rotate it around one tooth, and we'll see what that gives us. So we'll give it a try and, whew, sorry about that, I put my fingers in the way. Um, give it a try and I'll come back. Alright, so here we are. Not going to work. I move that one notch. Pedals up higher. 
but now we have no return spring. So at this point I think my best bet is to um, shorten this rod. Sure. That'll work. Alright, better start pulling it apart again. Alright, we're back. Whew. Was not as easy as it looked. So I made up a stop. need some refinement but it gives you the gist um, I cut 5 mil off this drilled a little bit further re-tapped it so that's as far as in as it can go and this end I've re-drilled and tapped where it mounts into here that is the only way I'm going to get enough preload for it to actually operate the brake so uh, not ideal <laughs> it's a uh, whole kit's a little dodgy if you ask me but it's here I got it it'll look alright when I'm done I'm also going to take this spacer out so when I'm riding I can rest my foot next to the brake not on the brake so I, I don't know why there's a spacer in there maybe people like to rest their foot on the brake I don't so I'll see if I can trial fit it again and I'll come back all right back again I think we got it sorted still got to tighten that up and lock tight and finalize it So that way it doesn't come up any higher than it should. And the wheel spins free. It's a brake travel. So I'll drop it down and I'll sit on it and uh, go from there. Okay, so here we are. I took the extension off, made a stop. Cleaned up, painted it, re drilled, re tap that, draw tight, everything's good to go. We've, uh, <laughs> these are the leftover bits, the spaces I took out, this is what I cut off the foot peg, the bolts are a bit too short, the additional spacer off. Off that. Whew. Not the greatest of setup. Looks good though. So if you're someone that wasn't very mechanically minded and you built this kit, you'd be screwed. But I got it to work so far. So I'll drop the lift down and see how my foot position is so here we are looks pretty good a little bit of flex in it but we can cruise around on it this is the other side Gotta be happy with that. 